Legal gloves are coming off and there are allegations of sabotage, misuse of a porn sponsorship, even threats of violence. It's all connected to an event that started as a joke. Only 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartel spoke to all sides and breaks down the exclusive details. The event that received attention from around the world is about to end up in court. Both sides now pointing the finger and Connie West says she's fearing for her safety. And I've had people call my business and say they're a sniper. You know, they have us in sights. Don't turn around. Things like that. In this exclusive interview with 13 Investgates, event organizer Connie West is opening up about what happened before, during, and now after the Alien Stock Festival, specifically threats she claims that were made against her and her family's business. But these cross, these cross they the cross line. the line. They cross the line. When, when I have employees that are terrified yeah. to even leave the back room because of what they were just told, um, yeah, it way crosses the line. West says the threats came by phone and she has no idea who was behind them. Bodily harm, um, burn my building, burn my business down. You know, um, and it came from different, you know, it came from the beginning to the end of this, this whole event blowing up. West says she reported everything to authorities. She even had armed security following her every move during the three-day music festival last month as a precaution. Aside from the threats, West has filed this lawsuit against her former co-event organizer, Maddie Roberts, and his associates. It changed it 100%. Their campaign started at 6.45 on the morning show against me. Okay, so it sounds like you maybe are looking at changing venues. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> it's all up in the air. We're putting Maddie on the spot here. There's a lot of challenges. <laughs> so. The lawsuit traces the fallout to this interview on Good Morning Las Vegas 10 days before the Alien Stock event when Maddie Roberts announced he'd be looking for a new venue away from Rachel Nevada. The lawsuit says that led to mass confusion amongst the public and critical vendors and resulted in numerous cancellations, adding the actions of the defendants as alleged can only be interpreted as sabotage. A lot of what she's saying in there is not accurate and there's many witnesses to corroborate our, st our story. She is not a victim in this. Frank DiMaggio is Maddie Roberts' business partner and is also being sued. He maintains they did nothing wrong and plans to counter Sue West over the use of the alien stock name. We never told them anything was canceled out there. We just said the alien stock brand and Maddie Roberts would not be there. Okay, so they, they continued that on regardless. She said she'd worry about the legal ramifications at a, at a, a later a later date. 13 Investgates has obtained the original event permit which lists Raid Rachel as the name of the event as of July 31st. But West's lawsuit says Roberts and West agreed to change the name to Alien Stock in the first part of August to soften the public's perception and to promote it as a fun music festival. 13 Investigates got a hold of emails from West to Lincoln County officials dated August 12th, which shows Alien Stock as the new name of the event. West is suing for trademark infringement, breach of contract, intentional interference, business disparagement, defamation, among other grievances. Her attorneys are asking for a cash award to be determined by a jury. Roberts and his associates have until next week to file their answers in court. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.